uh, down in the Calmeopsis wilderness. This is the wildest and biggest roadless forest in the state down in Southwest Oregon. And I'd run out of water. The trails go along the crests of the ridges. There's no water up there. I spilled my water bottle. So I took a side trail down to a creek, small trail, not often used. When I get there, there's a rope across the trail and a guy in camouflage fatigue straight out of the jungle of Vietnam jumps out. He's got an ammo belt across his shoulder and a big 45 revolver. And he says, hey man, what are you doing here? I said, well, I'm, I'm hiking, I'm hiking through. He says, no, you're not. He says, you're gonna stay and have lunch. I say, well, okay, let's do lunch. So we sit down and for like three hours, this guy's very nervous because I'm taking notes and pictures for my, you know, my journal. And finally says, you know, man, I don't think you're a cop after all. I said, no, I'm, I really am a writer. He said, well, you really had me going there. I thought you were some weird SWAT team. I'm really growing a little marijuana out here. And uh, I hope to sell my crop at the end of the year and buy a one-way ticket to a tropical island in the Indian Ocean where I'll live like a billionaire forever. And you know, we, we struck a deal. He let me tell his story on the condition that I wait three years uh, or else he said he would kill me. Yeah, it worked for me. Also said, you won't even hear it coming. I have this poison blowgun of South American design and you'll be doing like an interview for some blog or book landing or something and there'll just be a and it'll come through the window and that'll be it. So.